What is up YouTube, X6 Solutions here, and today I am bringing you another video, and this is on how to FTP to your 3DS or 2DS console. The first thing you're going to want to do is download everything in the description below, and be sure to download FTPD.ra first. I will leave that in the description below. You can download that completely for free, and that will contain a RAW archive, as you can see on the screen. We're going to extract that, and you'll be prompted with free files alike. So we have the 3DSX file, which is basically the homebrew application that will run inside of the homebrew launcher, another smdh file and an xml file to keep that up to date and basically keep it running. So what we're going to want to do is make sure that you've extracted it and simply have the folder itself. Once we have the folder all ready to go we're going to want to connect to micro SD management on our 3ds or 2ds console. So to do that click on the home or tools icon in the top left hand corner of your 3ds screen or right down to the bottom and you'll see the little spanner click on that and this will then load you into system settings once inside system settings we can go ahead and click on data management and then micro SD management now what that will do is that will essentially allow us to connect via our network to our 3ds's SD card if you do want to just remove your SD card and you have an SD card adapter this is basically the exact same process so you can go ahead and plug the SD card into your computer if you also want to do that so once you're in micro SD card management or you have your SD card plugged into your computer go ahead and open a file explorer and click on network and inside here you should see your 3ds pop up so mine's named 2177 I'm going to double click this and if you've never done this before it will ask you for the username and password that will be on the top screen of your 3ds or 2ds console and it will display what the username and password is go ahead and open micro SD and you'll see the root of your SD card. So what we're going to be doing here is go into the 3DS directory and this directory is what contains the homebrew launcher. So we have all of the different files and folders inside here and this is basically what is inside of your homebrew launcher. So you have different you know different applications, 3DS craft, the blog, SNES and emulators and stuff like that. So what you want to do is go ahead to the folder that you extracted earlier and simply drag and drop it to anywhere inside of that folder. Now if you do already have it it will just ask you to replace these. I'm just going to go ahead and replace them there's nothing wrong with doing that so if you do maybe you have an older version you can go ahead and drag and drop this into here and that will basically just rewrite the file. So now we have FTPD application. There are other applications that you can use for FTP but this is my personal favorite. If you do want to use some other ones then that will also be linked in the description below. So once the folder has successfully installed we can go over to our 3DS or 2DS console, open the Nintendo 3DS sound application, or depending on what exploit you're using, we're going to be using sound hacks. So if you don't know how to use sound hacks or install it, then be sure to watch my previous video on how to install the homebrew launcher. We're gonna go over to SD card and load Nedwell 2016. So as you can see on screen, we are inside the homebrew launcher. All you're going to want to do is scroll down until you find FTPD. So for me, it's at the very bottom of the screen go ahead and open it and as you can see we now have FTP access now be sure to check the IP address at the very top of the screen in the blue text you can see mine ends in 0.22 with a port number of 5000 so the next step that we want to do is obviously download and choose your FTP client now for me personally I like FileZilla I've used this for all basically all my life and FileZilla is just very very easy to use it's free I believe it's open source and I I do definitely recommend that so if you do want FileZilla be sure to go in the link description below and download the FileZilla client. Once we have FileZilla open you're going to want to go to file and then site manager we're going to create a new site now for me I'm just going to call this tut just for the tutorial purpose and in the host name this is where you're going to want to type in the blue colored IP address text that you see on your 3ds or 2ds console so for me it's 192.168.0.22 so once the host name is filled out we're going to want to type in the port which is 5000 as you can also see at the top of your 3ds screen and we're going to leave all of the other settings exactly the same go ahead and click on connect and there it is as you can see we have full access to our SD card just like network transferring through micro SD card management but this in my opinion is a lot easier all you have to do is once inside of the homebrew launcher you can go ahead and open this application and transfer files to your SD card via FTP in my opinion 
opinion, it's a lot faster and who doesn't want to FTP it to their 3DS's SD card? So that's pretty much it guys, a very simple and easy way on how to FTP into your 3DS's SD card. Comment below if you need any help, comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.